In the introduction to your new book, Extraterrestrial, you write, this book confronts one of the universe's most profound questions, are we alone? Over time, this question has been framed in different ways. Is life here on Earth the only life in the universe? Are humans the only sentient intelligence in the vastness of space and time? A better, more precise framing of this question would be this. Throughout the expanse of space and over the lifetime of the universe, are there now or have ever been other sentient civilizations that, like ours, explored the stars and left evidence of their efforts? So let me ask, are we alone? That's an excellent question. Uh, for me, the answer is sort of clear because uh, I start from the principle of modesty. Uh, <laughs> you know, if we believe that we are alone and special and unique, that shows arrogance. My daughters, when they were infants, they tended to think that they are special, unique, and then they went out to the street and realized that other kids are very much like them, and, and then they developed a sense of a, a better perspective about uh, themselves. And I think the only re reason that we are still thinking that we are special is because we haven't searched well enough to find others that might even be better than us. Uh, and uh, you know, I say that because I look at the newspaper every morning and I see that we do foolish things. We are not necessarily the most intelligent ones. And if you think about it, if you open a recipe book, you see that out of the same ingredients, you can make very different cakes, depending on how you put them together and how you heat them up. And uh, what is the chance that by taking the soup of chemicals that existed on Earth and cooking it one way to get our life, that uh, you got the best cake possible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we are probably not uh, the sharpest cookie in the jar. <laughs> and uh, my question is, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious to me that we are probably not alone because half of all the sun-like stars we know now as astronomers, half of the sun-like stars from the Kepler satellite data have a planet uh, the size of the Earth, roughly at the same distance that the Earth is from the sun. And that means that they can have liquid water on their surface and the chemistry of life as we know it. So if you roll the dice billions of times just within the Milky Way galaxy, and then you have tens of billions of galaxies like it within the observable volume of the universe, it would be extremely arrogant to think that we are special. I would think that we are sort of middle of the road, typical forms of life. And that's why they, nobody pays attention to us. You know, <laughs> If you go down the street on a sidewalk, and you see an ant, you don't pay attention or a special respect to that ant, you just continue to walk. And so I think that we are sort of average, not very interesting, not exciting, so nobody cares about us. We tend to think that we are special, but that's a sign of immaturity. And we're very early on in our development. So. Yes, that's another thing that we have our technology only for 100 years, and it's evolving exponentially right now on a three-year time scale. So imagine what would happen in 100 years, in 1,000 years, in a million years, or in a billion years. Now, the sun is actually relatively late in the star formation history of the universe. Most of the sun-like stars formed earlier. And some of them already died, you know, became white dwarfs. And yeah. so uh, if you imagine that a civilization like ours existed around a typical sun-like star, by now, if they survived, they could be a billion years old. And then imagine a billion year technology. It would look like magic to us. It, yeah. You know, an approximation to God. We wouldn't be able to understand it. Uh, and so to, in my view, we should be humble. And by the way, we should probably just listen and not speak because <laughs> <laughs> there is a risk, right? If, if, if you are inferior, there is a risk. If you speak too loudly, uh, something bad may happen to you.